My name is Amber Arkell and this is my story. When I was 26 years of age, I was diagnosed with stage one, grade three breast cancer. I decided to start a Facebook page called When Things Went Tits Up. And I did my first video on the blog and overnight there was, when I checked it the next day, there was about 700 followers. I actually met Amber's um, When Things Went Tits Up page first. I was scrolling the internet after my own breast cancer diagnosis. I read that page from start to finish. It was her timeline that got me because I knew that if this girl that I'd never met before could do this breast cancer thing, then I'd be able to as well. I was never doing breast checks. I didn't know that from the age of 20 we should be doing breast checks. So if I didn't know, and here I am with breast cancer, how could I use the platform that had gained such good traction to educate and inspire and motivate women to start doing this. And eight being my favorite number, if you turn an eight on its side, it kind of looks like boobs. So on the eighth of every month, I started Googling pictures and videos on the internet and anything I could find that I could share that would then be what would encourage and educate women to check their breasts. And it gained an immense traction. I have women who have been following my blog for a very long time who have now do that every month on the 8th. They love the reminders. It's my most shared post every month. If I'm gonna get any blessing out of my disease and after everything that I've gone through, if it can help save one other woman, then it was all worth it. I had no idea how important it was um, to be doing it every month until I met Amber, I didn't even know it was a thing. It's so important, every woman should be doing it. It wasn't something I did before, but now every month. Um, and if I didn't get reminded through Amber's blog, I'm sure she'd knock on my door and say, have you, have you done it this month? Thankfully, there was no spread of the disease, um, but it has obviously set everything to some form of the start. As a young woman with this disease, it's very different. Your priorities are different. Your needs are different. You are experiencing very different things to the traditional you know, 50 plus women who've already had their families, who maybe already have their careers sorted. So that's all the stuff I try and share. To me, Amber, when I first met her, she just showed so much warmth and compassion. She's so caring and she literally just looked me in the eye and said, you're gonna be okay. She's the kind of person that finds out she has breast cancer for the second time and then throws you a surprise birthday the same night. I have honestly never met anyone who puts other people before themselves like she does. Someone who is as thoughtful, kind, brave um, and caring as Amber. Words can't really explain how amazing she's been and oh. <laughs> she has just helped me in, in such a difficult time of my life. For anyone who has followed my blog, I really want them to understand that I am just one story because it's really important that people understand that breast cancer is not a one size fit all. You know, cancer is scars, it's appointments, it's blood tests, it's crying, it's not knowing if you should plan a future, it's you know it's so much more than than a, a quick selfie feeling my boobs and reminding people to do a breast check. This has just been an opportunity to um, share one person's story that would somehow speak for those who couldn't find the voice and also try and you know educate people at the same time. That's really is what the blog has become about. It's one person's story but being a voice for many more. At the end of the day, you are your own biggest advocate. No one knows your body like you do. Nobody can tell you how you're feeling. No one can tell you what is going on. And by being in tune and doing monthly checks and understanding what your body needs, it is the biggest benefit to your health. And that will save people's lives. My last biggest message is never be told you're too young for cancer.